welcome to the session and, and now we'll be having a uh, few classes on the basic uh, stuff of uh, the how finance data is handled and how basic finance uh, calculations are done okay and mostly this will be focused on uh, uh, dax how we we work with dax uh, how we do the data modeling how we clean the data that's the core part the first step which we generally do the cleaning the data okay so let's not waste the time and let's import the data the, it will be in excel format i already have a pair of data will be focusing focusing more on uh, dax and cleaning part and and studying the data okay yeah import this first my budget expenses okay it's coming up it's not a big file okay so here we have the uh, file so, so sometimes uh, when you give an, any interview, uh, what happens that uh, they give you a data and they ask you to import this data and do certain kind of calculations, okay? So when you import this data, because I have faced this real scenario in my one of the interviews, what they will do, uh, when they will have the Excel sheet, they will basically give you, and in Excel sheet, they will have uh, a sheet a sheet named let me show you a sheet named with something let's let's say goods sheet name is goods and there will be a table as well i want to say this table there will be also a table uh, in the in the sheet and it will be also it will also have the same name table okay just let me create this real scenario for you because it just came across my mind that optionality one. Oh, sorry, it, it was uh, searching for something else from that. And this is the table. Okay, so this is now my table. And let me just name this table as let me just name as transient, okay? And the seat name will, will also be the same. Transitions. Fine. Okay, let me just close this. This is a really very good. And let's import the file once again expenses open it so i want to say that there will be two two tables here you can see sometimes they will have same name with with a bit a bit of space in front so that they can hide it so it will be really confusing that which one to pick okay now if you see there is a there's there's a blue header in this first one and there is uh, no header. The, this is just a plain sheet kind of. There is no header. So this indicates that this is a sheet, okay? And this header has blue. If there is a small table and header with blue. Then it indicates that it's a table. Even and if you scroll left to right, you will see nothing else, okay? It will just import. It will just show the data of the table. And this is a sheet, so it will give you the extra. So this is this is a small indication how to identify between a table and a sheet. Okay, so I will just select the table here, and I will just click the. So clear what I was uh, what I'm trying to say. No, sir. Uh, what is the difference between table and a sheet? I did not get it. Basically. Yeah. Look, 
when you open this uh, excel so this is my entire uh, sheet okay this is entire sheet transition okay it's it contain from a till end data all the columns here this is the sheet but my table is this only this is my table this much is only my table a table mein range aa jata hai yes defined range yeah there is it has it has defined range column and and rows defined in sheets they have all the data in this sheet all the uh, columns from starting from a till the bottom from here xfd column okay so e, e, in sheet it includes the table and the ha uh -huh, yes table data a and and the empty empty column and rows as well empty column okay 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 fine fine so this is, so this is basically the sheet you're talking about is the spreadsheet you're talking about yes right yeah spreadsheet okay. so don't get confused in these two things when if you come across this type of question okay so basically they are the same fine okay so let me just transition this click on transform to import the data and once we click on the transform uh, uh, query editor will pop up which will give you give us the access to uh, to the data okay now let's understand what uh, this data is so it has the first column is the very important part of data analysis is to understand the data what it is what data is is what the raw data is saying you the first column is about dates okay so i will so this is just general date dates from 2018 till 20 okay one year data is there i believe it's more data is there more than one one year and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 one important thing you can say it it's not a continuous data you can see till 12th uh, january it is then after that uh, feb data has has started so this is not a continuous date you can see here as well till 10th 11th okay now coming to the second uh, column that is description so it's a kind of description that what uh, type of where the uh, amount was expended on what this is the general just a current amount transition type so what was uh, how it was done it, it was either you received the amount or or you paid the paid it and then there is a category the what type of uh, uh, of uh, expenditure it was then coming to this this is the account column so which account you have used to do the expenditure or to or to receive the amount you can see checking platinum card silver card so this okay so this is general understanding of the data you will just uh, try to first understand the each column by column the, what the data is okay then what you do you can see here this is a bar here you can see red then there is a, a slash blue green white kind of this is this indicates that uh, there is some error in this column same here same here here in this all columns if if it's red in the left hand side of the column then it's there is something mistake so how we can check this a very important function a very important function is your in views you go this data preview function okay what this data preview function does it tells you about at what kind of data it is okay and it helps us in analyzing the data how many first let's see column quality okay now once i click the column quality or i check the column quality it has given me this bar okay so in in this bar uh, Uh, sorry, there was a bit of this disturbance at my end. So once we click uh, column quality, it it gives us a bar here. This bar tells me that that what is uh, 
what is the percentage or how many errors are there okay so you can see empty cells it tells nothing means there are no empty cells error there are errors which is greater than 1% and valid this is also all the data are are valid okay so this is a basically column quality tells us what is the quality of that column how many valid row valid rows are there how many error rows are there how many empty cells are there okay basically it, it tells us how many empty cells uh, valid rows uh, uh, empty rows or error rows or cells are there okay this is the functionality of this column if you have 1000 and, and lakh of rows then this is very useful in knowing that what is the percentage we have a very small data so it's not showing up that much you can see all of them if then if i choose column profile column profile will have more in depth analysis the how what is the count of uh, of of the cells in Rose. this column that has data is 1810 error it has one cell with an error okay and this tells us by this we, we can know that this is the and uh, so basically what sort of errors does it has like in the date column what error what possibly the will, error could uh, be we will we will go okay. here just i'm 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 giving you how you can use these functions to know that okay. how, how right. what, what is the percentage of error how many errors are there okay yeah and then okay column distribution in column distribution what it will do it will show you a graph it's not showing a graph here it should show a graph here bar chart bar chart or line chart should be there yeah and it will give us the distribution of that uh, which data is how many times for example if you column this amazon amazon is how many times in this column it's 10 10 times 20 times netflix how many times it, it there is the netflix okay it will it will basically count each uh, uh, each distinct uh, things in the column how many times they are okay so you can use this four five functions to uh, to analyze okay now coming to the red ones which i had told you in the initial part this red ones are the errors we know that so how we can uh, we can identify them so, so just apply the filter and you can just scroll here okay you can scroll here one of the best practices is that you just load the data one of the one of the best if you can easily see the date the uh, the data then you can just correct it or what you can, you, you should do just uh, apply and close okay let there be errors okay this is one of the best practices that load the data as it is when you load the data what the power bi will what it will do it will analyze the entire data and whichever cell is having the uh, error it will reject entire row i'm talking about if a cell has error then it will reject entire row okay and it, and in, it will not load that particular row so we, we will see the uh, result now just allow let it load on the power bi any kind of uh, error there will be on the data it will be just exclude those from loading on the power bi so we will always get uh, correct data only yes only correct correct data you can see now ha uh, 810 rows loaded yes, 810 errors are loaded as identified errors. okay it's still working so there are four errors so currently four errors so if you click here in this view error it will it will directly open up a power query editor let us click here okay if or now power query editor window will pop up okay now you can see 
you can see it has created an entire different section of of the error error part ideally we had loaded this part only okay transition once we loaded it extracted out the add, uh, incorrect errors in incorrect rows okay and it and it has made a separate section for for those errors and this will always have the name with it whenever it, it will create a, a, a tab you can say uh, it will have query edit errors and a date and time will also will be there so that you can understand and you can analyze that okay at this particular of time when the data was loaded this errors were occurred at that point of time okay this was the basic naming convention and uh, let's now analyze the data that if we can exclude this data or we can fix this data okay if we go uh, and see this the first row is th that's a row number date is there fine credit card payment then this there is a error 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 so let's understand let's open the source file and let's see what this error is about can we fix this in the source file or we can fix that in the uh, in the power power query itself okay so it's uh you have okay so it's telling us about a row number 663 date is 672019 okay 663 663 this is 663 100 plus 64 67 2019 okay now we can see that there is a transition date a description is there that credit card payment was there but it doesn't has the amount transition type category and name these three things are missing okay so we can understand that this this uh, on this 67290 credit card payment was there but other details are missing might be that transition was cancelled or uh, might be that he has used it accidentally and later on he thought let's cancel the transition might be any case so, so what we can do we can just remove this from the source file because this is the incorrect data so we can this is one type of fix okay i've just saved it and what it will do when we will refresh the data here this will exclude this row automatically because it's not there in the source file about other uh, about other columns sorry rows similarly you can see this 713 let's go and see this 713 you can see entire row is n a n a n a means there is no detail here or it, so this can also be excluded the, th the third row is same 764 and then it's 810 row as well yeah you can see there is only the uh, date and description other things are missing from here okay so what we can we can do we can just remove this from our source file or we can just leave it as it is because uh, the power bi will not allow this rows to be uh, on the data power bi uh, power bi desktop data so we can leave it as as it is or we can just uh, delete it from the the source file or we can also go here transition and we know that this is na in column date so what we can do we can just go here filter out n or what we can do uh, we can just uh, let's find this date which is na and we can just filter out that data this is the two type of let me show you in the bottom it's not there Let's filter out. We can say select this. Okay. 
and these are two or these are errors so what we can do it's not showing us and you can just filter uh, uh, uncheck the uh, that that particular uh, particular uh, you can say the incorrect row that is hashtag na or or error one it will it will automatically not load that data in the in the uh, power bi or you can also leave it as it is because this will automatically filter out uh, this data so what we should do we should for now just let's remove this from the source file okay let's remove this here if we have here error size yes we have one let's remove this as well or n slash n i think we are done let's close this file okay now you can see automatically it has uh, removed that two rows what we can do we can just go here and you can see the print preview uh, sorry uh, refresh preview what it will do it will just refresh this particular uh, particular table or you can just click here right click and you can also find okay it's not there no worry so you can just go here and refresh preview so what it will refresh the entire Data. Okay. What's happened? Okay, I think we did something incorrect. Okay, let's select all the and let's refresh all let's refresh all you can see only one is left now from it was uh, initially it was three or four was there only one is left and now you can see it is completely green deep green you can see now you can study that 807 valid rows are there, zero errors are there, zero empty cells are there. You can see this talking about each cell in this column. If you go here, it's it's completely green here. So this is also very verified that this entire column is good to go. If you check here, this is still red. Okay. So for this, what we can do. You can just go and uncheck. Okay, let's keep this and let's apply and close. It will automatically uh, not allow that one um, row to be loaded. You can see it has also one row. So let's keep this as it is. Now this was how to load the data and how to do a small uh, if there is a, uh, a particular cleaning is is required in the data. So how you can remove those? Okay. Now the first step is to rename this our file. This is transition one, so I just want to name it as transition. I'll just so I'll double click here and this one enter. Now let's uh, import another table. This is budget. And this is a pretty good table with no errors, I believe, to fix. You can see the window, simple table. So just let's directly load this into Power BI Desktop. We don't need any uh, query editor to work on it. So directly loaded on the Power BI Desktop. Now, one thing we uh, we found that 
uh, while an analyzing the transition was that whenever doing any analysis any kind of analysis you should have one one table or or one column which should have a complete series of dates from start to end for example my if my data is from 2015 till 2020 then there should be a column or a table we should have the date at uh, date from 11 2015 till 31st december 2020 okay and a continuous date should be there there, there, is, there should be no gap okay so if i see this transition then you can see there is a two type of dates are there i believe this is a bit worrying sign we need another set of cleaning in this okay so we need a bit of cleaning more in this if i go here transition date and if i click this to format date then what it does let's see yes it has worked okay so all the uh, all the um, rows are loaded into date but still our our problem is uh, our, our issue is still there because this is not a continuous date you can see if i ha 11 ke baad 15 aaya then ek par wahi aa gaya hai ha there is a break in Achha. the okay analyze in so we need to sort it yeah. if i have just sort sorted it but still there is a gap between this there should be a continuous to analyze any kind of data you can just mute yourself mute your uh, zoom uh, to analyze any kind of data there should be a continuous date range and this is uh, this is not the continuous date range so what we do, what we will do we will be creating a table which will hold our date range okay and it will have a continuous date range so there are two basically functions to create a uh, calendar or you can say date range one is your auto calendar auto and the other one is just show you new table and the other one is calendar so what auto calendar auto does is let's keep the name as my dates equal to so calendar what is does calendar dax in this you have to uh, supply the star uh, the you have to supply the start and the end date okay if i want uh, a date from 2015 till 2020 then i have to pass on the date that's 01 01 2015 and then uh, 31st 12 2020 okay this is this will automatically create a a list of entire dates from starting to end but uh, this is more useful one more function is that is calendar auto that is more advanced and that is more better than this calendar that is calendar auto what this calendar auto will do it will it will study your data okay whichever column will have the date function date sorry date in it it will study that column and it will take the entire it will it will pick the last and uh, oldest and the newest date if there is a date in a column which which states 11 2021 and then it and, and it also states that the column has 21st uh, october 2021 then it will pick the last and the first date and it will create a table of that particular range so how it works just uh, start the parenthesis and close it and hit enter
in the first uh, dax which was a calendar there will be unwanted uh, rows as well because we have to supply starting and the end and this calendar auto it will automatically pick the starting and the end date from your data which are you have imported okay so if we see here it's 1 1 2018 and it will it will just end where your data has dates it will follow this uh, this column okay if we see which is here it's 2019 i believe so 2019 till data is is there okay so let's check a table which we have created we we'll also have till 2019 entire year you can see 31st well 2019 okay so basically it will pick the entire year it will it will study the year and it will create the entire date for that year is it clear this ca calendar auto function yes sir yeah. so this is very useful it will automatically pick the and create a uh table for you now so now this is my table and there's a very important part in this is you need to tell the power bi that uh, that's one of the best practices is that you need to tell the power bi that this particular column is the most trusted date column okay so that it so so, so that power bi can help you in analyzing the data more better so how we can do that just go click on that on that that particular table and then click on the column which you think is the most trusted one and then just right click on that and okay do this need to remove file select okay let's go here first i don't want this i think it has created a link let's break this link first i don't want a link now okay now come to here select the table select the date right click on this ha huh, okay now when you click on this right click and you can see mark as ta date table mark as date table once when we click this our window will pop up date column just select the date this is a date is the, is the column name okay you can see here column name date and you can see here valid validated successfully means this this power bi is is telling that okay we i now i have recognized that this particular column is the most trusted column for the date just click okay you can see the the logo here it will automatically change to something of id card kind of okay so this is the, uh, this is one of the best practices it will help you uh, it will help the power bi to tell you more better uh, understanding about the data and analysis now coming to this hmm. now let's add few of the uh, more more columns here uh, uh, year month and all those let's go here and how we, we we can add a column just click on the new column so you can just click on the home and then table and you can see here new column option is there just click on this in adding a new column is similar to uh, creating a dax or or a creating a measure just first of all you will write the m year this is i am adding a column so i will just add c year equals to year just supply the date so that is uh, my date and date column a column which will fetch the 
date for it. It will just extract the year and it will store it. So this we already have a function in that in Power BI named DAT date. So when we will use that anywhere, and with this, then they it might create a confusion. So let's uh, let's change this to something else. Will it allow us? Let's see. See date. Yes, it is allowed. Okay. Now let's add a more few columns. That is month, month number. We'll also <coughs> so before analyzing the financial data, we need to have this sort of things. Month, month, and it will be your my date. Just select the particular column which has the oh, not the year. I don't want the year. I want the this one. Just close the parenthesis and draw. Okay, so this this has given me the month number. Now we want month as Jan, Feb, J A N F E B. So for that, what we'll do? We will uh, let's add new column, and now we'll be using a uh, that's called format. What format will do? The functionality of format is that it will give you. Yeah. equals to common yes so uh like uh we are right now uh on this page so uh can we not add column from this uh new column directly the one which is in the extreme uh top right next to manage relationship column this one yes you, yes you can click there yeah yes you, you can click there from here also okay. yeah it, there's no difference Okay. You can click here, or you can just click, uh, right click here and select select a uh, new column. Everything. Okay. Yeah. So there are many ways. Yeah, there are many ways to add that. No, there, there are there are many options. There are many options, options. On, on on different places to add the column. Okay. Right. So in this format, what we'll do? We will select the value that is my my date and date, and then just I will select. I want month, so in double quote, M M M. Just put and this that and so this was one example of format option okay so let me add a new column uh, new column and let's explore a more bit of format option so now i, I want to add you can say just a, a full full uh, name of that month so what i can say see month name full format if you have used excel then it is similar to the text function okay so what would it just uh, provide the uh, my dates or date date column for the value and then just with double quotes write 4m what this 4m will do it will uh, make january as j n u complete uh, spelling of that january it will pop up if you keep just 1m then what it will do it will just uh, write the figures 1 2 3 as we have in this uh, c month name okay and if you want a month and year just close this and i will show you 
a month and year so we want month and year both then what we can do we can just click new column and the month year equals to format my dates and the date column and then double quote m m m y y double quote if you want just uh, complete 2021 like then you can just write four y's two y's will just give you two uh, two digits of the back back end of the year example it's 2019 and then we'll just give you 19 19 and if you want 2019 complete so you just need four y's there okay so we want quarter so how we can do that quarter part is uh, new column uh, there are many ways to calculate see the quarter so C U quarter equals to just double quote Q here. Okay. And then uh, this is a concatenate sign. Basically, it's called ampersand. So it's also used to concatenate two uh, strings or two alpha new. Anything can be joined with this help of this. Okay. Now format use the format sign and quarter here function this quarter and then just provide the column which has the date okay close the parenthesis yes and just i'll give uh empty format just if i click it should give me q1 q2 something like that yeah you can see so this quarter is giving me this is giving me the quarter number okay so it's first quarter second quarter third quarter and this is will really just empty the I, I don't want any formatting here and then a q should be added in front of the one so just give me quarter wise. just see here one two three four okay so this was our uh few of the columns how we add and a bit uh, introduction to the small uh, DAX uh, that is year, month, format. So format can be used in many uh, other ways. Uh, therefore, example, if you want any particular number have to be 10 digit and there's only, for example, 48 and you want 48 to be written as 000048, uh, basically six six zeros in front of that then then also you can do that we, we will uh, study that uh, in more elaborate in our next sessions so let's keep this till here okay